There's nothing worse than cooking the perfect meal and having it ruined at the last second because it stuck to the grill. And there's a lot of conflicting advice out there. Weber says that you should oil your food and not your grill grates, but yet they make this grill spray. I'm gonna find out how well this works and show you the best way to keep your grill grates non-stick. So the Weber Grill Spray is non-flammable and designed to make your grill grates less sticky. I wanted to test that using some really lean chicken breasts because they're really likely to stick. And on one side of the grill, I use this canola oil, which you really shouldn't use because it just turns into a flamethrower. And on the other side, I use the Weber Grill Spray. And aside from the extra fire, the canola oil side didn't have any chicken sticking, whereas the Weber Grill side absolutely did. And you can see some of the remnants of it on the grill grates. So the main reason why this Weber spray is non-flammable is because the main ingredient is water. And it didn't work for me, but if it does for you and you've had a good experience with it, go ahead and share that down in the comments below so others can benefit too. Meathead from AmazingRibs.com says that you should never oil your grates because the oil will burn almost instantly and give a bad flavor to your food. It also could increase the stickiness on your grill, but I'm gonna disagree with that. If you put your meat on the grill pretty quickly after oiling the grates, and you're not cooking at high searing temperatures for things like steaks, you're gonna end up with a fairly nonstick surface until the meat starts to produce its own juices and oil, and it'll be able to stand alone on its own. I'm gonna do that for chicken that I haven't marinated or fiddly things like burgers or thin pieces of meat where it's pretty impractical or messy to oil the meat itself. It's much easier to do the grates. And oiling your grates is pretty easy to do as well. All you need is a paper towel that you get a little bit of oil on, and then you rub it on your grates right before you put the food on. Now, some people tell you that you should use an oily kitchen towel. That seems like a big mess to me, and I'd much rather use paper because I can throw it away when I'm done. If I'm searing a lean steak, I'll pat it dry and then put a thin layer of high temperature oil like avocado on it before throwing it on the grill. The high temperature oil will make it less likely to burn and the steak will keep it cool until it's done its job. And for fattier cuts like ribeyes, you generally don't need to do this, but if you have something really delicate and sticky like fish, it's a really good idea and highly recommended. But above all, if you keep your grill grates clean, you're gonna find that things don't stick quite as much.